सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव प्रैक्टिस टुडे क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एट्टी थ्री मूव जीरो सो द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल राइट एंड आई विल टेल यू द क्वेश्चन सो हेयर वी वुड बी गिवन एन एरे लेट से फोर वन थ्री जीरो लाइक सम मिक्सर राइट जीरो कैन ऑल्सो बी देयर लाइक दिस एट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू मूव जीरो टू द बैक राइट सो द आउटपुट शुड बी यू आर फोर वन थ्री एट जीरो कॉमा जीरो सो ऑल जीरोज हैज टू बी मूव टू द बैक राइट एंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ द अदर एलिमेंट शुड बी द सेम लाइक फोर वन थ्री एट सो फोर वन थ्री एट सो ऑर्डर ऑफ द दिस एलिमेंट शुड बी सेम ऑल जीरो शुड बी एट द बैक एंड इट शुड बी डन इन प्लेस नो स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी शुड बी प्रेजेंट ओके सो आई हैव सॉल्व दिस विथ टू अप्रोच वन इज ऑल्सो सो दिस इज एक्सेप्टेड दिस इज नॉट अ ब्रूट फोर्स स्टिल बिग ऑफ एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विथ टू मिली सेकेंड बीट सिक्सटी एट परसेंट यूजर अनदर अगेन इट्स अगेन अ बिग ऑफ एंड सम हाउ इट इज बीटिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द यूजर्स बट इट इज वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड अप्रोच सो आई विल टेल यू बोथ सो द फर्स्ट अप्रोच विच आई थॉट ऑफ इज लाइक लेट से सम नंबर इज गिवन लेट से एट जीरो नाइन फोर जीरो सेवन समथिंग एनी थिंग सो वॉट आई डिड इज आई यूज अ टू पॉइंटर अप्रोच सो इन दिस वन इज दिस इज आई कैप फर्स्ट इज लाइक दिस इज माई जीरो इंडेक्स जीरो इंडेक्स एंड आई कैप दिस एज अ नॉन जीरो इंडेक्स नॉन जीरो इंडेक्स सो हेयर इफ यू सी दैट आई एम फर्स्ट चेकिंग एट दिस इफ कंडीशन इफ दिस नम्स ऑफ नॉन जीरो इंडेक्स सो दिस it is not equals to 0 and nums of zero index is equals to equals to 0 means one is zero and another is not zero means they can swap right so i can swap so it can become 8 comma 0 comma 0 comma 9 comma 4 comma 0 comma 7 like this right so like this it it goes on so try to find one zero and one non zero so here it becomes like this is your uh, non zero it was zero right so now it will iterate so when this iteration till happen till any one of them finishes so till that is the end point if both is uh, less than to the nums of length till this loop will iterate so what is the second condition i have put if nums of non zero index is equals to equals to zero non zero index plus plus so because it's a non zero we are trying to find a non zero index right so non zero index is currently it is zero so it has to be incremented it is zero it has to be incremented so it comes here similarly third condition is uh, that if nums of zero index is not equals to zero because its purpose is to find a index which is zero so this zeroth index this is non zero right it has to increment this will become and while incrementing i am just checking that here that while incrementing the zero at index it should not in it should not move ahead of the non zero at index that's all right so that is the only uh, things which i am taking care that while incrementing the zero at index right let's say if uh, this is the case right uh, 8 8 9 7 and this is uh, this is uh, let's say your non zero index right because this is non zero and zeroth index was this so zeroth index plus plus zeroth index plus plus zeroth index plus plus zeroth index plus plus yeah it found this is zero but here if you see that zero is at end non zero it is at front right so this is we don't want to swap them so that's why i am checking if as soon as zeroth index become greater than this non zero at index become zeroth index plus 1 so non zero at index become move ahead of it whatever it would be right so it is again big go of n very simple only swapping this thing and incrementing non zero and zero at index but again i thought it can be simplified it's a simple question and that's where uh, i found this approach is that here what i thought is like let's say it is given 0 8 4 0 1 9 something zero now what we have to do is i am iterating over this array keeping an index non zero at index here now this is my i 
while I'm iterating and this is my non zero. So what I am doing is so currently this is I equals to zero. So I not equals to zero, then only I am doing something otherwise I plus plus. So it is equals to zero I plus plus. This remains the same. Eight, eight is not zero, right? So I will move eight here. Right non zero index plus plus. So your non zero index will become here. Non zero index I plus plus here. I is not equal to zero. So I'll put four here. Right. So I plus plus and here non zero plus plus. So this is your non zero index. I equals to equals to zero. I don't have to do anything. I become here. I equals to one. So means it is non zero. So what I am putting here is one. Right. Non zero will come here and I will go here. I uh, nums of I is not equals to zero. Right. So means I can put nine here. I plus plus here and non zero here. I equals to zero I plus plus so I end. So now whatever the non zero to end left right I will fill it up with zero. So here it already has eight, four, one, nine. Right and uh, yeah, that's uh, one eight four one nine. So non zero index is currently at this point. I is already finished. Now from this non zero to end, I will fill it with zero zero zero. That's all. So you understand what I did here. So I just iterated from for loop to end, right? Keeping non zero index to zero. And while iterating, if value is not equal to zero, then I am just overwriting it at the front. So all zeros, any zeros in the mid will get overwrite, will get overwrite, right? So I'm kind of a shifting, I'm shifting and whatever the index left after that, I'm just filling it up with zero. That's all. So from non zero to end, I'm just filling it up with zero. So time complexity, it's again a big off line, nothing improvement in time complexity, but when I ran, against the different use cases, it somehow beats 100% of the user. Okay, so that's my approach. But if you have any other approach, please let me know. And space complexity is big of one as expected. Okay, guys, thank you. Bye.